Ah, it's embarrassing and it's disrespectful to men, but let's go ahead and watch it. <laughs> Shame on you men who signed up for this. <laughs> Y'all are an embarrassment. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man, man. man. And I'm man enough. I'm man enough to enjoy a barrel proof bourbon. Meat. Man enough to cook my steak rare. Man enough to deadlift 500 and braid the shit out of my daughter's hair. You think I'm afraid to rebuild a carburetor? I eat carburetors for breakfast. I ain't afraid of bears. That's what bear hugs are for. And I'll tell you another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. Women. I'm not afraid of women. I'm not afraid of women. They want to control their bodies? I say go for it. They want to use IVF to start a family? I'm not afraid of families. They want to be childless cat ladies? Have all the cats you want. Woman wants to be president? Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and accept my full-throated endorsement. Because I'm man enough to... <laughs> Wait, what? Man enough to know what kind of donuts I like. Man enough to admit I'm... <laughs> Why am I just catching that full throated endorsement? Okay, so let me let me pause it here because uh, a couple things that this clown just said. <laughs> Shout out to y'all and this this video is screaming lack of testosterone all throughout this video. But even his pose, why are you sitting like that? I can't believe y'all let these people put you in this position and embarrass yourselves. But he made a statement about. What did he say? I hope she's the leader that, that looks looks me right in the eye or something like that. Let me run it. Well, I hope she has the guts to look me right in the eye and accept my full-throated endorsement. Because I... <laughs> I hope she... <laughs> full throat. Okay, so, so, so. I think that this is in reference to um, look me right in the eye. I think this has something to do with when they're doing the debate. And Trump refused to look at her the whole time. According to the view, they felt like that was a sign of him being weak and not man enough to look at her, or he was looking down on her. Some BS. The view, you know how the view is. I can't stand them clowns on that show. But anyways, I think that's where that's coming from. But then he said, "Except my full throated." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, you shouldn't say that looking like the way you're looking in that position you're looking at sounded real suspect. But what's funny is that's actually a real word. It's actually a real word. It actually means something. But they're actually trying to make fun of uh, Elon Musk and Donald Trump because Trump made a statement talking about how much he appreciated Elon giving him an endorsement, right? Because Trump said full-throated endorsement. Well, that's actually a real word, right? It means like you're doing something with like passion, like with the full of your passion. It's like an old English word. But anyways, I haven't heard someone use that word in a long time. But hearing him say it, it sounds real, uh, I don't know, diabetes. <laughs> All right, it sounds a little sweet. But anyways, let's get back to it. His full-throated <laughs> acceptance. Wow. Can't believe he said that. T time and a place. I'm man enough to support women. Man enough to know what kind of donuts I like. Man enough to admit I'm lost, even when I refuse to ask for directions. Man enough to not ban young women from reading Little Women. Or one of those pants books that the sisters like. I'm man enough to raw dog a flight. It sucked. Not worth it. I'm man enough to be emotional in front of my wife. In front of my kids. In front of my horse. I'm man enough to tell you that I cry at Love Actually. Goodwill Hunting. West Side Story. That and Predator. And I'm sick of so-called men domineering, belittling, and controlling women just so they can feel more powerful. That's not how my mama raised me. I love women. I love women who support their families. Women who decide not to have families. Women who take charge. And I'm man enough to help them win. So basically, the sad thing about all this, this whole ad, you guys, that this wasn't even about promoting Kamala Harris. This wasn't about talking about what her policies are. This isn't. This video wasn't even about why men should vote for her and what she's offering men. This whole video was satire. It was a way to ridicule. It was a way to disrespect. It was a way to insult. And it was a way to try and call men out and say, I don't need your vote and it also was like a big f you right like that's what this video was on um, to me it's quite obvious and the sad thing about it is that that was <laughs> the direction she thought was a good one 
it also says a lot about her character. Okay? And she... I'd be curious. I have an idea of the type of person that put this together. But it was a way to belittle men. And that says a lot about Kamala Harris. You're not trying to earn the vote. You basically said, I don't need your vote because these are the type of men that you are. And if you're not voting for me, then you're this type of man. You're that type of man. You're that type of man. This video honestly looks like <laughs> it looks like a commercial ad for the Disney series for Brokeback Mountain, the Wonder Edition. OK, that's what that looked like. <laughs> that's that's what that looked like. And then all the subtle jabs in there about Trump. OK, these are based off of comments that he made that were probably taken out of context, most likely. But of course, mo the most notable one is they're upset that Elon is endorsing Trump and that they have joined forces, right? So they made that comment in there. There's a lot of innuendo statements in there as well. But at the end of it all, the objective of this was to disrespect, insult, ridicule, belittle men. And that has been the new strategy coming out with Obama talking about black men and saying that they they are putting women down. It's like, what are you talking about? Again, turning this into black men are, uh, they have an issue with black women. How can you have an issue with a black woman who's a leader when your black mom suffered and did all this for you and did all that for you? This is the angle as if all black men share that story of a single black mom raising them and they don't have a black male role model or a black father, right? So again, this whole thing trying to paint this picture of what black means and what black should be. And if you have this type of person whose skin looks like yours and they went to a HBCU, then they all of a sudden that co-signs them of knowing the black struggle and the black hardships and blah, blah, blah. Again, the, the, the Democrats love to sell this image. They love to sell this whole black pain, this black struggle. And if you can simply, you know, be a part of the struggle and understand black folks, then you can be a part of black. Like, it's bullshit. And you guys, it's so, so, so disappointing. But <laughs> Kamala woke up and chose violence. <laughs> she said, I choose violence. I don't need y'all. And this video proves it. What are your thoughts on this crazy, crazy video ad? Was this helpful at all? Uh, was this a respectful type of approach? Um, what do you think the meaning of this video is? I'm curious to know what you think. What are your thoughts? I might be wrong, but that's how I, that's how I received it. Uh, so anyways, there's definitely this ongoing battle right now. And let's see where it goes. November 2nd, it's going to be a very, very crazy time. And you know how I feel about Kamala. I think she's going to win. I think they've already setting everything up in motion for her to win. And she doesn't look like she's trying really hard to win. And what that says to me is that she knows she's already won. And that says there's things working behind the scenes that we are not privy to. But anyways, let me know your thoughts, you guys. Like, comment, share. If you like this video, like this content, check out the other videos. On the page, subscribe to the channel if I've earned your subscription. With that, pray for our country. <laughs> Good night. God bless.